Now, I don't want to be offensive in my video. I don't want to be offensive. I don't want to offend anybody in any of my videos. But um, I want to talk about a slightly delicate subject that some people might think, oh, are you having a go at me? And I'm definitely not, not my viewers. And please, may I just say thank you so much for supporting the channel and coming along and putting your comments and watching and putting likes and, and all of that. And those people who email me, I really appreciate all of this as I'm trying to work out what's going on and try and find some answers and all of that. The question I'm asking today is, have we dropped our standards? Have we let them slip? And I'm not saying it's our fault particularly. I'm asking because I feel in many ways we have been manipulated. And I spoke about the sort of hypnosis side of things that we have in some ways been encouraged to dumb down things. I mean, you only have to, I suppose, go out and walk into the street and, and have a look at the world around you. And I feel that the modern era today has let so many things slip. I mean, if you think back to the old days of the Victorian era, now maybe this is rose-tinted glasses. I wasn't there, but you read books about it. You get the impression that it was a very much more proud nation, proud people, people dressed in a certain way. Service was service. Now, it may, may be that it was only the people who had money that the service was being provided for. That may be the thing. But you didn't hear, I don't think, in the same way that our standards have relaxed, that in the street you'll hear anybody just swear, use curses, use terrible language in front of others, minors, you know, in front of other children. It's as if they don't care. Kids will answer back. They'll um, have no respect for their elders. They'll even jeer and make uh, terrible uh, gestures towards teachers, policemen, doctors. I mean, I've seen in cases where people are rioting, ambulance services who are trying to help people have had um, insults, rocks, punches thrown at them. And you just think this is this is a mad situation that we're in. But it seems to me as if this isn't just our fault. It isn't just that we've let these standards slip but it's almost as if it has been encouraged and manipulated. Now, I'm referring to some notes because I don't like to edit and cut into these videos. I like to try and make out that what I'm saying is genuine and not manipulated and edited and, you know, try to make it as best I can. So please excuse me if I'm looking at my notes. But it is almost as if we're being told that we're stupid and, and because of that, we're sort of acting stupid ourselves. Um, one of the ways I mean that is I'm, I proudly voted for Brexit. Now, you may disagree with that. You may have said, no, no, it was a mistake. We should have stayed into the, in the European Union. And there were arguments, of course, on both sides. And I think any intelligent person would have seen that there were relevant arguments, good arguments, on both sides and we all had to weigh up in balance what we thought was going to be good for the country and for us, our families, our businesses and the way that we wanted to interact. And of course it was a referendum so everybody's vote counted. Now I get got the feeling, and this is only a personal feeling, that because I was in the Brexit side of the argument and wanting sovereignty and interested in protecting the borders, protecting um, our currency, that the people we vote for would be making the decisions, no matter how corrupt the system is, at least we're one step closer to having our ideas accepted and looked at. Because I was on that side of the argument, I felt very much so from the media particularly, but from other people who wanted to vote on the other side, who would be putting their comments on social media, that I was an idiot, I was stupid, that I didn't understand it, that I was thick because I had my own thoughts. Now, as I say, it, it was a referendum. Everyone was entitled, whether they were right or wrong, to make a decision. And that's how it should have been. And what, in my way of thinking, we should have been able to respect that somebody felt differently. They had a difference of an opinion. But I felt very much that we were 
on, on my side of the argument, we were treated as if we were thick, we were heathen, heathens, that we were somehow um, treacherous and just didn't understand the argument. And, and of course, not all the players who were promoting either side were playing fairly, and I think we can all say that. Now, of course, it may have been that people who voted on the other side also felt the same. So I'm not saying that uh, anyone, any particular side were acting as angels. I'm just saying there was, but there was definitely a bias, I think. And I think that has been proved that people like, uh, or organisations like the BBC really didn't treat us terribly well if we wanted to believe in our, um, in our country in the way that we did. And I also have felt that whole thing about if you're wanting to protect your nationality, if you are patriotic, if you do want to protect your borders, you want to protect your national identity, your customs, your traditions, that somehow in this modern day and age, that's such an old hat thing that it shouldn't be a thing. And you're stupid to think of that. And in that way, I feel that we've been encouraged to well, to not keep up our standards. So if you go down into the street, for example, in the town, you'll see people perhaps who again don't, don't think too much about their appearance. They seem to shuffle along, they seem downtrodden. They don't seem to have anything positive or there doesn't seem any point to life. And I don't think that's just the normal human condition. I think that society and particularly government, um, an overall ethos has worn people down and it shouldn't be like that. Instead of wearing people down, we should be encouraged to stand tall, be proud, have something to work for, to protect our families and things like that. And it takes a lot of effort to do that, particularly if you're vulnerable, if you're poor, um, and if people around you are pushing you down. So I think, you, you know, we're going to have to smarten ourselves up. As I say, I'm not, this is, I'm not casting aspersions to any of my members of the audience. I, I, I don't know you. So, um, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm really not trying to do anything like that. Um, but why has it happened? Where have all the craftsmen gone? Where are all those people that used to do things and would have satisfaction in doing things, doing things with their hands, making things, mending things, uh, designing things? My father uh, set up his business and he was a designer. He designed his, his area of expertise was in, into aerials, uh, not just television aerials, but direction finding aerials for wildlife so that you could track certain uh, types of animal and see where it was all over the world. He would design um, direction finding equipment. If you happen to fall out of an aeroplane, he was one of the earlier designers to, to work out how to put an emitter, a radio emitter in um, a life, what would you call those things that you wear with those uh, life, life belt, life jacket, life jacket. And it would, it would, it, and we're talking in the, in the eighties, in the seventies and eighties, he was working on this sort of stuff before, of course, it's all gone digital and various things. So I'm not blaming people per se, but it's, but we've fallen, I think in many ways into the trap of taking advantage of modernity, things that are very easy, very convenient, um, almost that we, we've dropped our morals. If, if you remember, um, Mary Whitehouse, for example, um, back in the 70s, in the 60s and 70s, she was very much onto anybody in television or in the newspaper who had bad morals against things like page three um, and television and the, too much innuendo and too much sex being put onto the, into, into storylines. Now, she may have gone too far and we all laughed at her at the time and thought, oh, for goodness sake. But maybe that she had something there, that we were letting things slip. And in many ways, I think that is a bit of a shame. I mean, you, when you look at television programmes, they're supposed to, ref, they say they're reflecting reality. But sometimes I think that's not really true. I think they are 
persuading reality. They say they're showing what's going on, but they're showing stuff to an audience who may not even know that's going on. And in a way, they're being influenced by that. That's purely what I think on, on that. And they're dumbing down. They're dumbing down, making people feel unintelligent or not inspiring them. I, before I started my YouTube career, if you can call it that, I used to try and write for about four or five years, I was writing children's books. I've been an entertainer, I've done a number of funny things, but I've always been passionate about reading. And I wanted to write children's books because if you can reach children at a young age and get them to be encouraged by reading, they'll enter into a world that is incredible. The imagination that they create and inspire them. But I found as I wrote and was trying to send things off to publishers, nobody was interested. And I started to compare my work with my contemporaries, people who were putting stuff out. And the number one stuff that was selling mostly, not all of it, but a lot of it was quite crass, quite dumbed down, treating kids almost as, idi as idiots. Whereas I was trying in my imaginative way to pull children up using slightly um, bigger words that they might have to look up, slightly longer sentences, and still being within the fantasy world that I was writing, giving children, uh, um, you know, goods over evil, positive thinking, um, and also a bit of history thrown in. But it seemed to me that the more I worked on this, the further away I was ever likely to get published because that didn't fit the remits that um, was being handed down, all the diversity stuff that was coming in. And um, I wasn't really interested in any of that. I just wanted to tell a ripping good story. Um, but that, that wasn't the thing. We're told that people's attention spans are getting shorter and shorter all the time. I disagree. I think that that's just an excuse to make short, naff rubbish. Admittedly, things like TikTok and, sh and, and shorts and things will always entertain in a short blink of an eye and, and will encourage people just to scroll and watch inane stuff. But at the same time, if you engage people, if you bother to put a bit of effort into it, you can. I mean, YouTube is brilliant for that. There are some beautiful and very elegantly presented um, long format stuff. I mean, look at what Jordan Peterson is doing with his two hour podcast sometimes, taking you on an intellectual journey in which you are taken in hand in, in a very professional and um, confident way. Not everybody follows the whole journey, you may only get so far, but it, 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 it is brilliant. And so the notion that we're, we're all dim, dimwits and we can't follow an argument or a reason is absolute nonsense. Um, now, when coming back to some of the things that I've been talking about, you know, these, this concept that um, there's elites and world domination going on and people pulling strings and and it's all out there. You know, we only have to look on online and you'll see all this stuff. It's hiding in plain sight. In many ways, I'm asking myself now about our standards. And if we're letting them slip, we are easy targets that they can push us over. We can roll over. We're not standing up. Well, of course, many of us are standing up to this. We're talking out. We're trying to encourage other people. I feel that we all need to up our game. We need to be as good, if not better, than those that are trying to push us down. And I've noticed, sadly, in the comments, people are saying, oh, but it's all happening, there's nothing we can do. Basically, they're almost saying, roll over, we're doomed. But I don't think we are doomed. I think we have just as much skill, talent, and the same level of tools as any of these elites who are trying to push us into a direction that most of us don't actually want. So we can 
defeat all of this and we can bring back the world that we really want, the things that matter. And I'll talk about more of that in, in other uh, videos. But for now, let's up our game. Let's up our standards. Let's not slip down. Let's be proud and go forward. Thank you for watching.